I'm so excited for you to try my creamy peppercorn sauce recipe for steak and beef dishes. I'm definitely a sous vide connoisseur. I just love to use a sous vide machine, but this is also a delicious steak sauce for grilling, for pan searing, anything you have going on, you can definitely use this sauce, this delicious creamy peppercorn sauce to put on top of your steak. So I'm gonna get right into it and show you how to make it today. This sauce comes together super fast. So what you do is you first melt some butter in a hot pan. Here I'm using a multi-pot, but you could do this on a pan on the stove. I do that all the time. And then you add in and whisk together some beef stock, or you could use chicken stock, or you could use whatever you have on hand, but you need to mix in some of that stock. If you're sous vide you could use some leftover sous vide juice from the bag. And then you add in some mustard, some heavy cream, and peppercorns. Now, it really kind of seems like a lot of peppercorns, but when it comes down to it, all the cream and the mustard really makes the peppercorns more of a subdued flavor. So you need to stir regularly as the sauce thickens for about five to 10 minutes. It just kind of depends on how high your heat is, but it should be about medium high heat in the pan. So the sauce will turn light brown when it's ready to enjoy and when the consistency is thick enough to coat with the back of a spoon. And that's kind of when you know it's done. You don't want it to be sticking to the pan too much. That means it's probably overcooking. So as soon as it's getting that thicker texture and it's able to coat the back of a spoon is when you want to pull the sauce from the heat. That means remove the pan from the burner or remove the heat um, unplug the multi-cooker so it stops conducting heat because you want to get that sauce right into a little serving bowl. Now a little bit of this creamy peppercorn sauce for steaks, for beef dishes, for sous vide cooking, whatever you're making will really go a long way. So you just need to serve a little drizzle and that delicious bite of the peppercorn and the creamy creamy sauce will mix all together and it's gonna taste good on anything that you put it on. I like to enjoy it on short ribs, cook sous vide style, on steaks. It's even good on chicken. So I hope that you really enjoy this sauce and even if you're not into making sauces or you're just kind of dipping your toes in it, I think this is a really easy sauce recipe for steaks. So until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers! I have so many new easy recipes coming your way that you're just gonna love. Make sure to subscribe to the Sip by Go channel on YouTube to be the first to know when new recipe videos come out. Subscribe today. Well, if you're still hungry, there are plenty of other videos for you to check out at the Sip by Go YouTube channel. Inspire your inner chef and get cooking.